Coach, after 53 matches without a come from behind win, you guys have now had two in the last two games. What changes have you seen in the team to produce those results? I think when I look at some of the qualities that you do need, some of the drive and determination that's necessary to, to grab a victory after after going behind, it's certainly qualities we have, although we've never seen it before. To get ourselves in a in a positive position from the Bethlehem game and, and to win it 4-1 away from home was a terrific result. And then to, to go in front and then behind in the second half against Hartford, but to still have the, the fortitude to, to get back in front, I think shows some very positive signs and more so one of the team that's growing and, and has got a much better appreciation of each other and the way they're playing. And when you were first named head coach of Nashville SC, a lot of people said that you were going to be defensively focused, but you stressed the importance of balance when constructing your team. Nashville SC is the only USL team to be in the top seven in both offense and defense. How good does it feel to be able to prove on the field what you've already said off the field? Well, it's always nice. I mean, you, you set out with a plan and you hope that you can carry that out. Recruitment's vital, bringing the right players in to achieve that. But, you know, they, there's still plenty to come out of this group. Guys like Daniel Rios and Cameron and Republic Mensa are all firing pretty well up front and in front of goal. There's plenty of work to be done to make sure that we maintain in that top 10 in terms of defence this year. And speaking of Daniel Rios, he played a key role in you guys' victory against Ottawa earlier in the season. What are your expectations of him on Saturday? If Daniel's in the starting lineup, I expect to see all of the qualities we've seen so far. A very um, driven, talented and uh, exciting forward that I would hope all fans are looking forward to seeing far more often in the future, certainly towards MLS.